builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No! What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? you looks pretty ominous there's some sort of giant monster up here another evil computer no no nothing like that but you'll see come on ah <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices oh you just love being mysterious don't you is that like your favorite thing what? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. Oh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Yikes. If you're the nicest old builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh, yeah. They love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. Sort of late in the day to bring this up, don't you think, Lucas? Hey. I'm just trying to be cautious, okay? I want all of us to get home in one piece. And we're going to, okay? We just need to get that atlas. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Right. I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> oh, come on, Nell! I'm no. trying, Al! Dig, dig! Faster! Go, go! I feel like... Oh, we can't do this! Well, yeah. what do we have here? Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? Where's Harper? Come with us. Uh, and I'm very tired of old builders. Hang on. I just realized what this reminds me. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be my dad!
decent teammate. Oops, did face me drop something? Lucas, grab Petra quick. Thank you, Jesse. I couldn't have done it without you. No! Petra! Lucas! No, 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 no! That's, no! That's impossible! Whoa, no way, dude. I got a double. No! No! <laughs> Hey, hey, whoa! This is a misunderstanding, dude! What are you doing? Hey! Using weapons is against the rules! Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. Ah! Oh! Slap is down. I repeat, slap is down. Stop the match! Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah. I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, brah. You are an incredibly horrible individual. Ah! Dude, dude, no! Stop! I can tell you dudes are all angry, and I totally feel that, but I promise I do not make the rules here. That's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. Where are you taking them? To the mines. Mm -hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! No, oh, why bother? Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. So can we get someone to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here. My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Yeah, ask Harper. She's the one helping. Um, right. Yes. 
Believe me, Hadrian, when you see what Jesse has, let's just say it will pique your interest. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not against the rules. Technically... How about my sword? Wow. A sword. Is it sharp? They don't deserve to be here, Adrian. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. They haven't been eliminated. I present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> oh, yikes. Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. What about this? Huh? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friends. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home. So, not my problem. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay. Okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games... If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. You lied to me, to all of us! Hey, hey, I didn't lie. Per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Tricky. Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. They're all in the games. 
Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. Seems like you don't approve. I don't. Believe me, these people would rather be here in the village than working in the mines. a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back, and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Nuh-uh, no way. They do not get to put my friends in their stupid minds. Ooh, it's been too long since I was part of a prison break. You've got a colorful backstory, don't you? You have no idea. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. Sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it too. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty upset. Totally get it, bra. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. That's right. I'm gonna win the games, too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't, like, tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is, like, pfft. She is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? Oh, hey, know where the nether portal is? Yeah, it's right over that way. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. Your stupid teammate killed Lucas. Yeah, I couldn't believe Nell pulled that off either. Don't forget they respawned, duh. Don't cry about it. We were doing what we had to do to win. Until you screwed up everything. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. No, you don't understand. I have to win. Winning is the only way my friends and I can go home. <gasps> is that how it works? That's what we're all trying to do. 
Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Aha, uh -huh. there's our nether portal. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't look cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat's air. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, their face meets bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meet cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meet has time, that is. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meets watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Get my friends now. Face me doesn't negotiate with meanies. Well, hmm, there is something you could do. Face me was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face me's hungry. Do something about that, and face me'll think about getting your friends out. <laughs> Unless you got food. I don't want to talk to you. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> well, forget I asked. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Oh, Shovel Planet. Nice. Ivor, everything going okay? Yes. I was just thinking to myself that if this place were a touch less mandatory, it could almost be fun. I admit, I did have some fun in that spleef tournament. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just... Stinks that all this has to be part of it. Though their architecture is magnificent. We need to keep looking for Petra and Lucas. <clears throat> right. Enough of this talking about feelings nonsense. Hey! Get out of here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. It's so nice when new contestants are in the village. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. Oh, it's you again! The one I wanted to make suffer! Hey, leave before I ruin you. What exactly do you do here? Well, when I'm not in the arena of being a great gladiator, I hand out the daily food rations and guard the food, so no one tries to sneak any. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No. But if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. 
Yeesh, why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Fine, I'm out of here. Bye-bye! Can't wait to kill you again! Excuse me. Psh, wow, rude. <laughs> that armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. <laughs> hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. That book you're reading? Hand it over. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> wow. Ooh, that was so scary. I almost fell over. Hey, wait a minute. You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah. And this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. And you expect me to just hand it over? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And slam the immovable. Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. Mm. Can't you see I'm trying to read? Jeez. Huh? Sorry. <sighs> Wow, hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. So, you ever meet Tim? Me? Meet Tim? Oh, I wish. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? No, I mean, seriously, I mean, anything at all. Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard, face me, and he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash, and if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead, that should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah, it'll grow back. Just uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One, planting as I go, and that's another. <laughs> Sweet, and that should all grow back soon. Nice. Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully, bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. <laughs> Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Wooden plank, solid. There, that should be enough for a table. Aha! 
That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face meat. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? <laughs> it's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Get my friends out of there now. Hey, no need to yell. Though, uh, <laughs> face meat is impressed. <laughs> Jesse. Hello. Hey, Ivor. There's been something I've been wanting to say. It's about how you saved me back there in that game. I... I really appreciate it, Jesse. I... Ugh! I couldn't have done it without you is what I'm trying to say. Ivor, I thought you were gonna die. I worried about that too. Luckily, none of us did. I'm glad you're in this with me, Ivor. Me too, friend. Here! Oh, my response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff, because I'm not liking being armorless here. So, I guess that's a no on my journal, too. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together, forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just <sighs> stare at you while you mine. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Tim seems fantastic. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto. Oh, great. What do you two want? Hey, now. Otto just wanted to meet you. Don't be mad. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting. Tim, please. I could do anything he can do better. Well, you might just be right about that, Jesse. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway... Dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I just hope this next event isn't too... deadly. Competitors, and welcome to the next day of the game. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and, of course, about our plucky newcomers. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. 
Certainly fond of their own voices, those three. Yep, it's gonna be a good one. I can feel it. Well, I'm glad you're feeling good at least. I wish we knew anything about today's event. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? Oh, great, a run for my life. Just what I was hoping for. Bad knees, Beardo. Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Adrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. I'm not gonna be in your twisted interview, Hadrian. Get out of my face. Oh, I'll get out of your face. But I'll be laughing at your face from my nice cushy box while I watch you burn. Oh, I promise you that. You little nothing. <gasps> Listen up, bucko. These are supposed to be games. This is supposed to be fun. So play along. I sincerely hope that we understand each other. These games might be yours, Hadrian, but we're gonna beat you. Well, <laughs> that's a rather hilarious bit of fiction you're slinging, isn't it? Yeah. So funny that I forgot to laugh. Well, aren't you some bold little so-and-sos? Watching you burn is gonna be extra satisfying. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em wanting to work together. Hmm. I'm not surprised. We are very charming. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. How's that gonna work? A bigger group has a better chance of getting past the gladiators. Trust me. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. I'm glad she'll be on our side. At whatever a Gladiator Junction is. I don't know about this, Jesse. Cardio isn't really my thing. If I were Hadrian, I'd be up to some suspicious activity. Come on, Ivor. I know you can unleash the fury out there. Show them what you got. You're right, Jesse. I'm going to show those old builders what Ivor is made of. See, I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh, yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors, on your mark. Get set. Go! We did it. 
I love a good lava-based build as much as the next guy. What do we get ourselves into? And you're just getting started. Huh? Out of the way, chumps! Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? for the fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's on our side, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that. Right, Em? Em? <laughs> Boom. Bye, squishy. Motion of invisibility! No crime! Gotcha! Looks like you're all alone yep, now. That's math. I'm tired of you, Slab. I was just thinking the same thing about you! I could do this. Sorry, Nell. I'm winning this thing. Hey! Whoa! Whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? jumped on! Whoa! Slacker! Hang on. Whoa! No! Oh, come on! I don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. 
and I think I know who it might be. And the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse responded yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All the stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no please. probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. Whatever, you're a liar. Why should I waste my time talking to you? Ugh, fine. That respawning was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Ah! Ivor, what are you wearing? <gasps> it's what I've been wearing under my adventuring clothes. It breathes wonderfully. Uh huh. Well, look who it is. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on, I don't have all day. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No, just Jesse. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Just try and be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse. You gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here, too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. Quit your whining, Slab. There's plenty of people who have it way worse than you do. You know, like the miners? Oh, yeah, them. They're only in the mines because they can't beat me. Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... Nah, I've seen stuff way more epic than this. Oh, really? Hm. I bet you're just making that up, snob. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh! And don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by... Soren? How did Hadrian get this? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas! Psst, hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Oops. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. 
Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. The decor of this place really seems like you're going for a modern villain aesthetic. Does it? I suppose taste can be intimidating to the classless. You can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? I can't say I'm much of a Tim fan myself. And why would you be? You haven't lost yet. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... Nessie. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, wow, well, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. How to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. Not gonna lie, guys, it's bad. We're in a world where everyone is forced to compete in these crazy games and will be prisoners forever if I don't win. Uh, that is bad. I'm so sorry you guys got roped into this. Yeah, that's not the best. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend, Reuben. Sup? <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Uh, hi, Reuben. Oh, sup? Nothing too much. How about yourself? Oh, same. This is so awkward. So you used the Atlas to kidnap all my best friends. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those minds. You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome. Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. 
play it your way, which is to say I will crush you, and you won't win anyway. Slab, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Uh, uh, uh. You're okay! What happened up there? Have you seen what Ivor is wearing? I said, <laughs> shut up! Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? Uh, in case you missed it, if I took that deal, I'd be in the mines forever. Except now, win or lose, you'll have friends doomed to the same fate. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Adrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. He's the least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. This won't be the first impossible situation I've talked my way out of. I can make a pretty good speech when I want to. Huh. Hope you're right. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. The point is, just shut up and let me talk, okay? Oh, snap. Well, fine. I'll hear you out, but nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did. That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. Forget Tim. Real or not, the important thing is what we are all capable of doing tomorrow. And what we're going to do is beat the old builders at their game. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. What, like you're just going to quit? Yeah. Quitting is like for a quitters, dude. I'll be sure to remember that. The next time I've got a gladiator aiming for my head with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Yeah, but so are we, you guys. 
Sure, their fists are huge and their weapons are really scary, but we've all got fists and stuff, too. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? If we combine all of our fists and stuff, we're going to be like ten times as tough as the gladiators. Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you, and I believe that we will be free! Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <laughs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah. That last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ladies <sighs> and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian. And not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. Hey, come on, you stop yammering at me. They're talking about the rules or something. I'm trying to listen. Yeah, I should have guessed you're one of those people who listens to the rules. Don't worry, huh? They're just about to get to the important part. Mavia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Tick-tock! Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevia? What do you mean, Hadrian? Hey! <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. Oh my gosh, do you really think so? That's terrible. Uh, oh, oh, wow, true, I mean, yeah, C could you not tell? I I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! Yep, just dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh, this should be interesting. The 
competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now. We em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Thought I'd try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has. Wow, am I glad that this is how this went down because. Uh, let me tell you, all I had was dirt and gravel. Gross. Could still come in handy, though. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! These aren't your games anymore, Hadrian. Uh, uh, these weren't our games? Wow, my urge to destroy is dissipating. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commit soon, right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. Hey, two slab. You'll pay for that. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not! They all win! No! no! Levia, Otto, with me! We're ending this. So help me, none of you will this place until you eliminate each other! Oh, would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already? I heard Mevia. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom! Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you! We control the games! We decide their outcome! Mevia... Shut up, Otto! Come on, Mevia. Just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We still have the Atlas. Ha! Well, that's the thing. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay the help. What are you doing? Now it's been fun. Really, 
But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. You want the Redstone Heart? You're going to have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The hard way's more fun anyway. This is useless! Well, well. M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. It's your quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. No, oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. Slab. It was an honor to fight with you. Slab. Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skill. Just still no match. See about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game. And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Adrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor. You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Now, Bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab land. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. Come on! Never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Spleef! Got it.
I knew it! You and your stupid deals! There's no time for that now, Mevia! We have to get out of here! Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I've come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. Ah! Ah! No! You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate, and with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? Thomas Redstone Heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. What kind of people would want to stay? Seems kind of weird. Uh, well, uh, they are pretty fun games, you know. Admittedly, they got a little, well, out of hand before, but I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again. And I'm going to help, too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it. Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm going to head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for... Just try not to do anything stupid, okay? You don't want to make it worse. Oh, I agree with you there. I've realized my instincts aren't always the best. Hopefully, I can help people in a way that actually helps them this time. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. 
Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice! There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw. That's... lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man. That's even creepier looking than I imagined. The Portal Atlas. <sighs> I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh? I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! Palma's redstone heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. Just say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. You know something? I really like that. There, done. Well, tell the next one, anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing, too. And where's Ivor? He must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? Come on, guys, we have to catch up with him. <laughs> 